So welcome to the next modeling for Maya basics video and here I'm just going to create a little a little script since we're doing uh, the same thing over and over and over again and it'd just be nice to have a little button to do that. And I'm going to open up the script editor by clicking on this little button on the bottom right or you can go under Windows uh, and where are you? General editor? Yeah script editor right here and we're welcomed with this now we don't have to worry about coding so don't panic with the script editor window open we can actually create functions because everything we do by records it so here select dash r p pipe one p pipe one happens to be what this object is so what we can do is we can say, hey, when we select this, right now it says select, if I press control D to duplicate that group, we can see duplicate dash RR and then result da da da. And we then end up scaling it, that new duplicate in minus one, so we can now see that duplicate parts, scale X minus one. And so with that, what we can do is we can create a button for that. So this now, it's only going to work specifically because of the name duplicate parts and it's going to be constantly duplicate parts one. Uh, it involves a little more scripting in another bonus that I'll show how to do that. But overall, this, these two lines are the top and the bottom are what we care about. With them selected, we can actually click on this little little save disk into this blue line. That blue line actually actually is the Maya shell. So if I click on that, it says, uh, so I'm gonna call this uh, duplicate mirror. Uh, you know what? Yeah, duplicate mirror. And I'm gonna hit okay. And by default up here, it's Mel. So we're just gonna click on Mel. So from here on out, we can just select this, hit this button, and it's automatically going to duplicate it and mirror it in the negative one. Uh, so we can see duplicate dash RR and set attribute duplicate parts one, scale X, negative one. So the nice thing is it's as long as this name ends up being the name of the object in this specific scenario in a very basic sense, that is fine. Is And that will always be as long as we don't change this name. So if I, let's say, change this to uh, part, like just take out the S alone and click on this button, we can see now that it doesn't know what to do. Uh, and in another bonus video, I'll showcase how you can script that in. Uh, so it doesn't, it's not gonna be name dependent. But I just wanted to showcase that so we can actually like in a simple sense, create a little button in order to make our lives easier for constantly checking, and then we can go in and delete it and move forward with uh, our model that we're creating. So that's that.